Okay, this should be the last one. Perfect. And all this says is that uh, that you should just do an immunize step, which we will do now that we've downloaded the update. So I'm just going to hit OK. And since the jump from version 1.4 and I believe 1.5, the update process actually leaves this update window up where we have to hit on exit to close it. And behind the scenes, SpyBot Search and Destroy has already closed off and is restarting. And it should come up in a second. Here we go. Just that notification again about other anti-spyware programs or any programs that might have advertisements that SpyBot might remove. So we've already done the, up, the update step. We're going to do the immunize at this point. And then this is just complaining that I, I still have the, the uh, Internet Explorer open and it, it prefers to have it closed in order to do a, a more complete immunize step. So what I'm going to do is backtrack say I hit go back to this screen but at the same time I still have that download page for the SpyBot open we're gonna go in and X out of that and then we're gonna go back to the immunize step and there we go okay it cycles through and the red entries just mean how many entries that it still needs to process into our browser for like the blocked and trusted list and stuff and let me just maximize so what it does, it goes through and transfers the red unprocessed items into the green column and that's how it goes. And what it does in a sense is it goes into the, the uh, security settings of the browser for each user in, in the computer, uh, each user in Windows, like for example We've got Kim Lim here, which is my dad, default profile, software profile, and then um, modifies the trusted sites list in the securities tab of Internet Explorer. And so that's how it keeps the browsing uh, a little safer for us. And that's what the immunization step does. And so it looks like it's complete. We're at zero there and all green, so we're good to go. So at this point, we go in and I'll show you guys how to do a scan. So we just hit the SpyBot Search and Destroy tab. We look for the check for problems. And then we get this notification saying, please wait, scan in progress. And we've got the progress bar at the bottom, which will start in a second here. Bring the mouse, there you go. You've got the tally as far as the numbers of files that it has scanned. And then we've got the blue bar that eventually will go all the way across to the end of the screen over there. So for most computers I found that it takes uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes so obviously I'm just gonna go ahead and put the camera down and let it go through here. This may be a better view. Alright, perfect. Alright, so far so good. We're getting close and notice so far on the main screen here is, is where it lists any items that it may have find and um, and if it lists, if it finds anything, it'll list it in red. Uh, and so far, it's a pretty clean scan. And we'll resume as soon as it's done. All right, we're getting close, as you can see here. There we go. Just finished, and then start starting to spout out a few red entries, which it, which it does, pretty often that I've seen after the end of the scan it goes back and retraces some other locations or something and so now what it's found quite a few categories of items and it gives you a total on the bottom where it says 23 problems found and um, each one of these categories rep uh, can expand through and actually detail the individual files that it found relating to that category of adware or spyware or just junk and cookies and stuff that you'll want to get rid of so seeing that We'll want to go ahead and hit the button that says fix selected problems. And then it'll just give you confirmation. You just say yes, to, you know, if you really want to do it, which uh, with SpyBot Search and Destroy, I found that you uh, always hitting yes to remove whatever it found is good. As opposed to some of these registry scanners, registry cleaners, you'll never know. If you hit yes, it might be doing some settings changes that uh, you might want, might not want to have happen. So at this point, you're pretty much done 
just hit the X to close it out. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that was version 1.6.0 of SpyBot. And I'll keep you updated in the coming months or a year or two if we continue to use this uh, software. So hope you like this video clip. And uh, keep watching.